One of two extra honeycomb pieces. Huh. Where was there an extra honeycomb piece? That I missed. I'm gonna climb up here a bit just because it might help me to see. Oh, I, I missed the mumbo token over there too, I'm noticing. Where was there an um, empty honeycomb piece that I missed? I gotta do that guy, that's one of the remaining jiggies, yes. Where the heck would I have missed? Huh. Uh, I'm not so sure. It's like we might have some exploring to do, huh? Well, let's just cover all of the water just to make sure there's nothing else we need the gator for before we switch out. Actually, there's something we gotta do outside of the world with him. That's right. Um, hmm. yeah, I don't know. Did I check all these? It's not like an extra honey. No, <laughs> I would notice it anyway. I don't know why I said that. Um, let me, uh, yeah, no, we got the thing that was on top of there. Um, uh, okay. It's possible that I missed one above one of those. Maybe in a different place. Hmm. You know, I'm not... I'm not entirely sure about that. Hmm. Oh, wait. There's one in here, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Okay. Alright, I forgot all about that. Well when we come back to do the egg with that guy, we will um we will we will get that one. Okay. So that's that, but I'm still missing one jiggy. Now what is the one jiggy? Oh well no. I'm I'm missing two, right? But there's there's one more. Uh let me go get this mumbo token. There's one more. Hmm. Where? I'm really not sure. Golden Crocodile's one. I didn't, like, leave the Jiggy in here, did I? Just double check, yeah. Say that'd be really, really stupid. Um, okay. I'm really drawing a blank right now. It's the unfortunate part. What? What have I not done? Oh wait, am I missing... Oh, I'm missing a Jinjo. That's the one thing I haven't done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, where did I see... Did I see a Jinjo and I was like, oh, I'll get him later? I got the one that was in the water. Right? Hmm. This is turning into another Clanker's Cavern situation. I'm going to wander around for 15 minutes. But, no, it shouldn't. Shouldn't take that long, like, right? Was there one back here? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. We're good then. We just need to grab Banjo again. Or, well, we have Banjo. Technically, we have Banjo. We have to go back and transform back into our normal selves, and then we will get uh, 
the extra honeycomb piece and the last jiggy and then we will leave but like i said we got something to do outside the world with him so i think what we're gonna do is go do that right now um typically not the way i would do it but i uh i didn't finish every single thing i could do as banjo first unfortunately so we gotta gotta do a little switcheroo here so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh do this because I don't want to make this the, the maze run again if I can help it so I feel like this will save us time if we go ahead and do this so back here there's a thing um, and I don't know if there's boots around or not but they wouldn't have reached all the way back here or maybe they would have but there's a thing that that you definitely need oh wait no frick We do have to switch again. Uh, there's a spot that's blocked. There's a spot that's blocked that the uh, that we can't get through in this form, but we have to go through, and we need Banjo to be normal to break it. So I just wasted the trip there, because we're going to have to switch again anyway. Fan freaking tastic Oh, well. Now all the enemies are going to be back, which is just like, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. Actually... Whatever. Smarter money would have been probably to have wandered into the lair far enough that we would transform again. But, since we gotta get more stuff in here, I guess we'll just do that. I definitely could have done this better, for sure. Definitely could have done this better, for sure. Let me just look at something real quick. Okay, those are just the items that we don't need. Good, good. Okay. mosquitoes all right so we're gonna have to do this go get the remaining stuff here go back outside break the thing and then come all the way back in here to transform into him into the I mean into the alligator or whatever <sighs> just to do one single uh, solitary thing but whatever it is what it is man not a lot we can do about it I don't know if this was the fastest way I could have done this, but it's the way I chose to do it. Frick you. Alright, so where is the thing I need to do is... Behind the turtle, yes. And inside the turtle, but we're going to have to warm his feet up again. That's unfortunate. Oh wait, no, we gotta do the whole thing again because we didn't finish it with the freaking golden crocodile. Oh my lord. I can't believe I forgot that. Also, I sort of glitched into a gap there. I can't believe I forgot that. Oh, it's aggravating. If you don't do it in its entirety, you, uh, you can't you, you gotta start all over again with the golden crocs. Dumb. Oh, they're not here anymore. Alright, give me this. Uh, now we gotta go find all of those golden crocs again. Which isn't a big deal, but... It's just like... Man. <laughs> man. I had to break those houses again. Ugh. You know, I didn't um I didn't edit out my failures in Clanker's Cavern. I probably should have, to be honest, but 
it was one of those things where the timing and the, and the length of the episode I wanted to use, and I'd already started editing, editing each individual segment before that, so it was like, I don't know, I guess I reached that point, I was like, oh, this episode would be really short if I do that, so I'm just gonna leave all that. I guess what I'll do is try to put in timestamps so people can skip it, because <laughs> it is really not pleasant to watch me fail this much. I mean, this isn't the worst. That was really bad because I legitimately forgot like one whole section of the map because I didn't... I, I thought I'd already gone to that point basically and I, I just kept going around and around and around. It's really dumb. <sighs> but yeah. So that episode... I don't want to have a repeat of that. If I fail really, really badly, um, I need to remember to edit it. But at the same token, if I can avoid doing that, I will. That was not it, John. <laughs> Just go over there, honestly. Go. And now behind the alligator, and then behind the turtle, and then we'll be done. Whoa, how did I end up down there? Uh, uh, this way. So even as well as I know this game, and as many times as I've played it, I still make dumb mistakes, you know? I still make dumb mistakes and I still waste a bunch of time. <laughs> Such is life, I suppose. Eh, we can jump over there. You fricker. You fricker! Why are you up so high? I can't hit- Oh my gosh. Stop floating upwards. You are the worst. That thing hit me three times. All right, there we go. But hi, James. Thank you for congratulating me on my epic failure of killing a mosquito. Um, okay. So now we can leave this level. As you can see, we have everything now. And all of the mumbo tokens as well, which mumbo tokens don't count toward like 100%. Um, but I try to always get them all. And the funny thing is, they... There, there's like, I think only one? I could be wrong, but I think there's only one. But there is one that you can't... That you can actually miss forever, basically. Um, so we'll be on the lookout for that. We don't want to miss out on that, for sure. Alright. Alright, so. Now we have to go back here and do this. Where are the boots? Where? Oh, right, they're all the way over there. Thank you. I hate mosquitoes in this game and in real life. Mosquitoes are the worst. And Mr. Gruntling as well. Um. Oh, not you. Not, not, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Alright, here we go. Alright, so we got to book it, though. We really don't have much time. Um, we need to go right there because, you know, these boots don't last that long. The return trip won't be too bad. This trip is going to be down to the wire here. Though I will admit, I feel like they give you a little leeway 
It does seem to last a little longer than normal. Anyway, this is the spot I was talking about, because here is where we need to bring the alligator, but uh, you gotta break it first. As Banjo. Wow, James. Rude. Uh, but anyway, so now you can see that we have our next level to unlock. Freeze Easy Peak. There's something interesting about this. I have a special way that I like to play this game. Um, it's not the way that people usually do. <laughs> and I will explain that here in a bit. Alright. Yeah, return trip, we only have to make it to the back of the... Uh... You see, like, it's already running out, so yeah, those other ones, they do give you some leeway on for sure. That, that confirms it, for sure. Alright, we've got to go in here, go get the freaking... <sighs> alligator come all the way back. Oof. Alright. Let's do it as quickly as possible. But yeah, I have a very special way I do things with... Um... Freeze Easy Peak that maybe a lot of people don't do but there's method to my madness and all will be explained here shortly and honestly that might be all we do for the rest of the stream is me setting up that next thing because this ended up taking longer than I thought we were I thought almost done um, at one point and then a lot more had to happen so we'll see we'll see Okay. Frick you. Frick you indeed. Alright, now we must exit the world. I just feels like there's something in my teeth. <laughs> All right, dealt with. Where's the exit? Let me let me out of here. He is pretty adorable, is is Banjo the, the alligator, crocodile, whatever he's supposed to be. But um we have only one more use for him and then we will be done with him. <laughs> All right, so we are going back to the spot that we unlocked for easy, easy peak. We're going to go up to where we broke that chunk of ice. And there's going to be a small hole that we can only get in in this form. 
Luckily, he can climb slopes, too. Even icy ones. Squeeze on back through here. And we are going to meet Cheeto. Grunty's always upset when we get a one-up on her here. Okay. So, yeah. He gave us the spell Blue Eggs. Now, I remember back in my original playthrough... The, the one that we are nostalgically remembering. Uh, I didn't remember what the spell actually did. I thought it just refilled your eggs. Um, what it actually does, well it will refill them. While it actually, or what it actually does is double your egg carrying capacity. And uh, so that's actually pretty useful and it's probably something we should do. So maybe after I do all the shenanigans I'm about to do with these levels, I will uh, I will actually go back to Treasure Trove Cove and put that in. Typically what I would do is wait until I have all the spells and do them at once, but there's not really any sense in not doing it. And it gives me something to do. Wow, that's not fair at all. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. Anyway, moving on. So first we're going to take care of the more important business. Now you remember we unlocked, or we hit a switch that broke the top of Gruntilda's hat there? Um, that's something we'll deal with later. We're not quite to that point yet, I don't think. We might be able to do that actually tonight. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. Give it to me. Okay. Well, we're gonna go up here first. Let's try not to get hit by you. And you'll see we have a new note door. So we have 400 notes and you only need 260. Uh, but that opens up this area. Actually, yeah, no, I think we can do this. Right? I want to say we would be able to do the thing. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where the switch is for it. Um, oh, yeah. By the way, Gruntlings with blue coats are different than the other ones. They actually take a harder hit. Now, a Ratatat Rap will still kill them, but it would take two rolls if you were just using rolls. Alright, so now you can see we made that up here. Spinny McGee here. Um, and then down there is where we came from. Over here is waiting boots. That is something else. Ecom We can't do that yet. Um. Hmm. I feel like I'm forgetting a thing here, but anyway, we do this. We jump in the pot. And that's how we get to this. So, we did end up doing that after all. Even though I said we weren't probably going to do it. Um, we did. So that's cool. That's that's good. Um, I'm trying to think... Hmm. Hmm. What? Um... What am I forgetting here, guys? I'm forgetting something important. I'm forgetting something important. Um, let me go back and look in here again. Did I explore all it? No, I didn't go up these stairs. There we go. I knew there was something else. I'm like, I should have seen a certain something and I didn't. Aha! Here we go. So this is an entirely different area uh, of the lair. Uh, oh, you'll notice those 
those beehives now have bees. If you break them open to get the honeycomb pieces, the bees will attack you, which is not cool. Um. Okay. Uh, I believe this is one we actually have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is back in the main, uh, main first area. So we we do have a shortcut now, which is nice. Um. Okay. Got that ready for whenever that becomes valid. Uh, there's a note door over there. Um. That is the entrance to Freeze Easy Peak over there. But I'm trying to remember which one of these I need to go and It's not that one. Uh, I think there's another cauldron up here. Yeah. We don't have you yet. Um, okay. Tilda's up there. Uh, okay, so I guess we need to go in this this note door. I believe I'm doing this right. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. Right, yes, this is it. Okay. So this opens up this area that has a lava pit of death, which... um. Back in my original playthrough, guys, I I lived all the way up until I was having to go on that little windy path over there, um, and I fell into the lava two times in a row, and those were the first two deaths of that original LP. It was pretty funny, but anyway. So you might be wondering, John... Why? Why would you open up another level? You just opened up a level. You haven't even been to Freeze Easy Peak yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly, John. Why? Uh, you haven't even been to Freeze Easy Peak yet. Why would you do this? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Tell me why he... Um, so the reason I do that is because there is a Jiggy in Freeze Easy Peak, which is the next level, that you cannot get unless you have an item that you get from Gobi's Valley. So if you play these in order, you then have to all but clear Freeze Easy Peak, leave, go to Gobi's Valley, and then you'd still have to go back to Freeze Easy Peak. But the way I like to do it is forget the the boots <laughs> no um the boots are over here the way i like to do it is i like to open up both worlds pop in Gobi's valley because you can get to the item without collecting any other items in the level no notes or, or jiggies we can just get right to the thing we need and then we can just go do freeze easy peak properly And then when we come back to Gobi's Valley, aside from having gotten that one thing, it'll be all fresh and ready for us. So that's what we're doing. So, like, there's all kinds of things we could get, right? But we're not going to. We're going to ignore all of the items, all of these things, and we are just going to go find bottles. Wherever the frick he is. <laughs> Uh, he's around here somewhere, right? Bottles. There you are. Okay. Yep. So remember, I talked about the running shoes were something we could have used against Mr. Vile. And yes, it would have helped, um, but we got through it, you know, it's fine. Uh, but it's something you desperately need in um, Freeze Easy Peak to complete one particular mission. Ah, uh, run away. So I figure 
and I, and this was something I did a long time ago. I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna go get the shoes so that we can 100% freeze easy peak in one go. But by not collecting anything else in there, we've left that all for when we get to Gobi's Valley. And they're already open, and the doorways are there, and we got that cauldron, and yeah. Time has been saved, you know? Time has been saved. Of course, there's enemies out here now from Gobi's Valley, but it's okay. It's okay. Alright, so. Rawr. So, uh, yeah. That is, that is me opening up the next world. I'm not going to dive into it because between the late start tonight and the headache, I'm I'm just not going to do it, guys. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Um, but uh, but it, it, it's fine. It is fine. Now, what I am going to do is uh, go to the wrong place. Ow. Um, I am going to go do the cheat code that Cheeto gave us. So we will use the cauldron here for the first time. That's gonna send us back here. And it's not too far from here to get to Treasure Trove Cove. Not what I meant to do, but sure. We'll enter with a flourish. Why not? Up, please. Made it. And you probably didn't think we were going to see this, but hey, we're back to Treasure Trove Go, guys. It's happened. Alright, can I get up here from this tree? I think I can. No, I can't. Wrong one. Wrong freaking one. It's okay. Actually, where we need to go is on the other side of this. So I don't know why I was going for the flight pad. It's literally right over here. So you remember, we had the bucket guy. We'll have to do this again. Now he'll drain all the water. We'll have to kill that jerk again. And then we can use the floor put in Cheeto's spell that he gave us. Come here. Come here. And he's dead. And the spell is blue eggs. Now unlike um, the other time we were in here, and I did say this then, um, you can use multiple of the same letter and there's not a timer. You just have to remember um, at what point you're at basically. but. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> There's two E's in a row and then two G's in a row, and it kind of threw me off. And S. So, yeah. <laughs> Chicken legs. Um, but, yeah, so now we can carry 200 eggs. Um, we will get other codes that will enable us to double other things but um yeah for now i decided to go ahead and do that because i usually don't or i don't remember or i just decide to wait till i have them all or some such thing and i thought what's the point when we could literally just make use of it like it'll be useful to have 200 eggs i pretty much won't have to think about hunting for eggs for quite a while um yeah, I mean, 200 is going to last us a good bit. There's some levels and, and areas where we will need more than maybe usual, but... But yeah. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stop there, guys. Uh, I know all we basically did was Bubble Group Swamp and then some extra bits, but... um, But I think that's going to be it for tonight, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. 
And uh, we'll continue this on another night when I need a chill, cozy, comfortable game. It doesn't drive me crazy. Um, but until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for another stream of day. Bye!